again here with Daniel. We're gonna be working again with our half guard passes. We're gonna actually show variation from yesterday's position. Okay guys, so let's start already. Nice to see you everyone. Move the head sideways. Up and down. Circling the head, people. Both sides. On. The other arm. Hips. Drop it on the floor and region and legs inside. Hips gaping and legs inside. We're gonna go in the parallel position. Again, we got a back step and legs inside of the one. We're gonna go on our hands and feet, hand leaves. I'm gonna push my leg through. I'm gonna rotate over the foot that I brought on the floor, switching the hands, bringing the other leg through. Just doing the same thing to the other side. The right foot is on the floor. I bring the left hand back, push the left leg through, and just rotating over the foot that I have on the floor. Sometimes each side of one. <laughs> if you guys require more details on this one, just check uh, Wednesday's videos, I guess, and you guys are gonna have the details just sometimes inside. And last but not least, rolling over the shoulder, back and forth, five times inside, everyone. Watch the head, pull the hip, and you're gonna go to the partner first. Cool people. Okay, everyone, uh, exercise that we've been doing the entire week, the underhook fight. Then it's gonna start with the underhook. I want to break her control right now. So a little bit tighter here, Tony. Exactly. So from here, as long as Tony has this position, I cannot play. Very difficult for me to pass. So I'm gonna push the head. I'm gonna keep her head away from me. I'm gonna bring my elbow in. I get the underhook, push her shoulder on the floor. I move my hip towards the head, and I get the, the, my opponent flat on the floor. Okay, for the sake of the exercise, then it gets the underhook back. Just gonna have the position again, and we're just gonna keep moving. Push the head, elbow in, get the other hook. First, drop her shoulder on the floor, then I move my hip towards the hip to flatten her, and we're just gonna be exchanging positions like this. One and a half minute on one side, one and a half minute on the other side. Again, people, I explained this, this drill with more details two videos ago. Check it out if you need. Other than that, just switching with each other again. One half minute on one side, one half minute on the other side. Then you guys switch words on the bottom and on top. Let's move to the next one, people. Okay, so uh, guys, I did this exercise yesterday as well and explained this position, if I'm not mistaken, in December when we worked with the guard passing. Basically repeating the, the knee slide so you guys understand this a little bit. So from here, I want to pass towards her right. So I'm going to start pushing her right knee down, the other hand on her ribs. I step away, step to the side so I can push her leg on the floor. And here, people, my shin over her thigh, the shoulder in front of the other knee, always with the other leg up so I can add pressure. Okay, people? So foot, knee, and shoulder in the same line. Have my opponent's leg control. I'm gonna get the other hook. I'm gonna trap the other arm so then it cannot push. Pushing my hip forward until I have my knee under her shoulder. Switch my position. Then I have the side control. Same thing to the other side, okay, everyone? So again, if you guys need more details, check yesterday's video. Check the video we posted in December. You guys, it's all there, okay? Controlling the legs, stepping away, dropping my opponent's hip. Now I get the underhook, trap the other arm, 
ball with the hand, and then we're going to have the side control. All right, working both sides, no need to be fast, okay, everyone? Just want you guys to get this position so you can uh, apply on today's uh, theme. Three minutes on the field on top, then you guys switch, or on the bottom on the top. Okay, let's see today's position, people. Okay, Ron, so today we're going to do the same position that we did yesterday, but adding some extra steps if you guys have trouble to free your foot, okay? Which is a situation that happens a lot of the time. People get to the quarter guard, but the person on the bottom is doing a lot of work to keep the foot trapped, and we gotta work on a solution for that. So guys, first of all, just like we saw yesterday, I'm gonna walk Dunya through. So if Dunya is passing my guard, in this particular scenario, she's either from the very first beginning, getting the underhook, getting my back flat on the floor, or if I have the underhook, she's gonna get her underhook, and now she's gonna start playing, okay? So from here, she's gonna bring herself up, using the shoulder on my face, Elevating the elbow here on the other side so I cannot use my head, my hand. She's gonna free the knee and now we're gonna be in this scenario right here. Okay, so let's turn a little bit. So guys, you can see that Danny has a quarter guard. Uh, quarter mount, actually, I have a quarter guard. So sometimes what happens, a lot, uh, what happens here is that the person on the bottom, me in this case, is doing a lot of effort to keep this foot trapped because I know that if Dani releases this foot, she's passing, okay? So, especially me being stronger than Dani, sometimes Dani's gonna have a hard time freeing this foot, okay? So we are going to work in a different situation uh, to make this easier. First of all, Dani is gonna keep her, uh, my arm trapped at all times. So if you guys see this happening, people, because if she keeps her elbow close to the body, I can start doing this, okay? And she did a lot of work to free the knee. We don't, uh, she doesn't want to uh, have it trapped again. So always with the elbow up, so this arm becomes useless. So what happens a lot of the times? So then it's gonna start elevating the hip. She's gonna start pushing, but I'm not gonna let her foot go, okay? So let's start a little bit. So. Then it's controlling my upper body. She elevated the hip. She started using the foot that she has free to push my hip, but I'm not letting go. So what Dunya is going to do right now is she's gonna keep the pressure that he has on the upper body, and she's gonna turn the knee that is on my left all the way towards my right, turning this into a knee slice position, okay? From here, guys, as I'm in this scenario right now, it's gonna be very difficult for me to keep her foot trapped because I have no angle to do that. From here, then it's simply passing with the knee slice that we work and she's gonna be on my side. Okay, so it's basically just turning the, the hip from one side to the other side and you guys are gonna have <coughs> a way better angle to free the foot, all right? So one more time. Dania already has the underhook. She's gonna elevate the hip, just like we saw yesterday. She's gonna free the knee, and she's gonna have the quad amount position. Not much that I can do from here right now, especially because my, my arm is strapped, the other one is not helping too much, but I can still uh, make this annoying for her by trapping her foot. So what Dania is going to do is she's gonna lift her hip and now she's gonna point both knees to the opposite side. Okay, now that she has this, oh, this uh, knee slice situation going on, even if I'm still trapping her foot, what then you can do is e use the other foot that she has on the floor to push my knee. Now she can free her foot and she's gonna be on my side. And you guys are gonna be already in a side control position and able to attack the opponent. Okay, so basically people, you guys are gonna be in the mount, mount scenario. You're going to elevate the hip and turn the hip to the other side so you can pass with the knees. Okay, so again everyone, no need to be fast in this one, right people? You guys are gonna see yourselves in a very comfortable position as you guys 
have this uh, shoulder pressure, very difficult for your opponent on the bottom. You can actually talk to each other, ask your opponent on the bottom how he or she feels, okay? Because it's gonna be, it's important for you guys to have this feeling, to switch positions and to see how uncomfortable it is because it, is, it has to be really uncomfortable so you guys can actually get a good result. Okay, so just switching with each other for one. Uh, no time limit, just want you guys to learn. No need to be fast, just getting the steps correctly and you're probably gonna have a good result. Let's try people. All right, people, and as usual, we're just gonna be having our specific training going on. We're done is on the top, trying to pass. I'm on the bottom, preventing her from, uh, her from pass and getting our sweet and uh, my sweet. If any of us reach our goals back from the beginning, person from uh, staying on top for three minutes, then you guys switch, whoever's on the bottom get on top. Just make sure guys that the other hook counts. That means if you're on the bottom and you get the other hook, don't lose it. Okay, super tight, don't let your opponent push the head away, start attacking. Person on top, got the underhook, don't let your opponent turn, don't give your opponent any space, start applying pressure right away, so you stay always on step ahead. Okay, then add some as many rows as you want. I would suggest to start from the half guard as usual, and wish you guys safe training, fun training, and we see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye.